Hello everybody, this is Dan or Crazy Bad Cuber. Today's video is very exciting. I have the new Petaminx Cube from Shengxiao. So this is the new Shengxiao Petaminx Cube. It comes in this really nice fancy box. It's got, I don't know, I've never seen a puzzle come in a box like this. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. Wow, it is so much bigger, so much bigger than the Terraminx. <laughs> And it comes with some stickers as well. This is an extra set of stickers. Now, I've heard this thing is amazing. And what's that, what else is in here? Nothing really. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out and see how amazing it actually is. So this is the puzzle. Wow, this thing is massive. It is so big. How big is this compared to a 17 by 17? So you can kind of see the size difference between the two and the overhead cam, but I'm sure this camera here, you can really see that obviously the 17 by 17 is bigger, but this thing is pushing the same size almost. All right, so I'm really excited for the first turns of this thing. And wow, that, that does turn really, really nicely. All the layers. The outside layer, can I even finger trip this if I wanted to? If I wanted to, I sure could, but I don't think it's... It's not a puzzle I can really grip to finger trick, that's for sure. Let's see. Eh. No, 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 no. This is not a speed cube. <laughs> this is not a speed cube, Dan, don't bother. Um, this is going to be a table solver for sure. But the, the colors are really, really nice on this thing. I've never actually had a Petaminx before. The sticker's a little bit, so I got a little tiny bit of a sticker issue there. Barely anything to worry about. So this thing weighs 1,229 grams. That's quite heavy. Basically all four layers of this thing uh, are the same smoothness. Like the tensions are really, really nice. It's lubed up. It is quite greasy though, but it's not as greasy as a lot of other uh, puzzles that have come out by them. And that's like saying a lot because they're always really greasy coming from Cheng Shao. But yeah, extremely smooth puzzle. Now when it comes to big cubes like this, I like, and same with like the 17 by 17, I like making videos on them, uh, even, even like this, you know, I like making videos on these type of puzzles, but I don't solve them very often. They take so long to solve. And uh, between my YouTube channel and my day job, and just other things going on in my life. I don't have a whole lot of time to solve stuff, so I will not be solving this in this video. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> not that I would make a solve video of this, but um, I'm just gonna give you my impressions and review it as I can. And if you care about corner cutting with something like this, it does corner cut, I guess. I don't wanna cut too far, risk popping pieces out. But yeah, that actually cuts really, really nice. But I can see that I will pop pieces out if I cut too far with this thing. But it is really, really smooth. Wow, this is this thing is actually impressive. I, I didn't think it was gonna be this good. I mean, this one here, the Terraminx, um, it's still smooth, but it's not as smooth. Like, there's still a little bit of grindy feeling to it. Uh, actually, this layer is really nice. But, so I expected the Shengxiao Petaminx to also be a bit grindy, but it's not, it's not. It, it, it's, it's very, very smooth. And I like it. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and scramble this thing up because I want to see what it looks like all scrambled up. This is probably going to take a while. I wish there was something I could talk about in the meantime, but I think this is going to take so long, it's going to be one of those fast-forward type of situations. Uh, but... Okay, so I'm going to take some time to talk about one thing. Uh, and it's something that I, I watched a video on Red KB today, his Q&A video, which he answered one of my questions too. So if you guys want to check that out, check out his channel. It's his newest video. Um, and and somebody asked about like, you know, is his channel being affected by, you know, the, the demonetization of a lot of YouTube and, you know, um, and how does that affect him? And it's honestly affected a lot of people. It's affected me. Nathan Wilson just made a video about it. My views on my channel have uh, have been down for a little while now. 
Uh, just like Nathan Wilson, you know, and Red KB, I used to upload a video and it would get, you know, 20, 30,000 views in the first day or two. And now it, you know, it's pushing, you know, trying to get five, six, seven thousand views per video. Nothing has really changed. Um, now I'm getting messages from people telling me they, why wasn't this video in my sub box? And now I'm watching other news channels, like Drama Alert even, um, and, and like other channels as well. And it turns out that a lot of people's videos aren't going to their subscribers. And YouTube might be changing things. I know Ela and um, whatever his name is from uh, H3H3. I don't know why I forget his name. I'm actually a really big fan of them. But they were talking about this too where YouTube uh, now has they're not they're not giving people their subscriptions they they're choosing what people are are gonna watch now and to me that's just like defeats the whole purpose of YouTube um, on my side yeah my views are down big time uh, to the point where it's being pointed out to me by other people and uh, and I thought it was just me. I thought something's wrong with my channel. I'm changing things up. I'm changing things up to try to like fix it. Uh, maybe I'm not getting enough enough engagement because people think what I do is boring now. I don't know. Um, but the views aren't even there. I'm not getting a lot of negative criticism about my channel. So usually when people are getting bored, that's what they do. But I'm not getting that. It's really confusing to me on why my views are down so bad. And now it makes sense. There's actually a problem with YouTube or they're changing things and it's out of our hands or they're going to fix it or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, Nathan Wilson's videos are just doing really terrible. Um, Red KB's, I mean, he's got a lot more subscribers, so he's, I think he's still doing okay. But in terms of where he should be, yeah, probably not. Anyways, guys, I want to take this time to ask you to click the bell notification because apparently that's what you have to do these days in order to get anywhere on YouTube and like get actually, you know, your subscribers who subscribe to you to watch your videos. Anyways, guys, so that is the Shangxiao Petaminx. This is a really nice turning cube and this is what it looks like when it is all scrambled up. I think it looks amazing. This is a $209 US uh, puzzle though. The cubicle did hook me up with it, but I paid for part of it uh, because it is such an expensive puzzle. So I thank them for that. If you're into big puzzles, yeah, I highly recommend this thing. It turns amazingly. There's, I don't have anything bad to say about this thing besides the fact that it's going to take me nine hours to solve it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you'd like this, you can get it at the cubicle. Links at the top of the description as well as the shirt. So it goes to a really good cause. I know I've been saying that in videos lately, but it actually does. If you'd like to get this cheaper than 209 US dollars, so though, you can get it, uh, cheaper by using coupon code CRAZYBADCUBER at checkout. Really impressive puzzle. I like it. I like the box it comes in too. That's actually really cool. I've never seen another puzzle come in a box of this fanciness and this quality actually. It's really nice. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.